Hi everyone, I'm Elle. Welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload weekly and I'm guessing you're someone that loves fashion as much as I do, but let's be real, fast fashion is gross and I think you feel the same way. So before I get into anything, I just want to say this is not a negative rant. This is not a negative video. It's just me and my yearning for a better fashion industry. And I think you know this already, but the truth is fast fashion isn't just harmful for people, it's harmful for the planet. And I just can't help but think fashion has been taken and turned so ugly. It used to be something where we can like express our creativity, our self-expression, and now it's just exploiting us and making us feel dirty and not enough and we're constantly catching up with trends and it's just icky and I know you know that feeling. So today I want to talk about fast fashion, why I feel those feelings, why it bothers me so much in detail and more importantly how we can practically live out our values in a world that just doesn't seem to align sometimes. Okay so here's the thing, fast fashion is a huge problem. It's really driven by our need to constantly pump out collections and designers are no longer creating from their imagination they're actually forced to design for the demands of a system that profits off of quick trends and so i need to wonder like who is in charge and i think it's mostly white men sitting in their pretty offices and their suits and telling us what we should look like and what we should say and it really affects women specifically and i think it especially affects fashion lovers and we're a lot feeling like we're somehow destroying the planet every time we shop and we are but it's a weight and it's heavy but here's the good news there is another way forward and it's called sustainable fashion so we need to really ask ourselves some really important questions like where do we buy when do we buy and how do we buy? We need to ask ourselves these questions because sustainable fashion isn't just an individual pursuit, it's a collective effort. But let's be real, most of us are working nine to five jobs, maybe even juggling two jobs while living with rising costs. We don't have a lot of time, money is hard to find, and it's just really hard to sit and think sometimes. So solutions for fast fashion really need to be practical for us normal people while knowing we need systemic change. And this means making your own clothing or handmaking pieces is not always the most practical solution to be told. I am really busy and I know you're really busy and I always just wonder how we can move forward. For me personally, I learned how to sew when I was 14. Last time I sewed though was when I was 17 and I'm 27 now so it's been 10 years and I made pajama pants and I took forever to make them. Yeah, mending can also be time consuming and not all of us have those skills. It needs to be a skill passed down and if you don't know anyone, how do you know? Also, we've commodified everything, clothing, gifts, food. I don't even know where a mango comes from, like where are they grown? That's a mystery, but that's fine. That's just our reality. And we shouldn't shame ourselves for that or for others for not having certain knowledge. It also means being okay that our advice to men clothing is not taken up by the masses. Who knows, maybe we'll see a rise in tailors if we want our clothing to be repaired and that can be a new industry. Yet our fast paced culture and desires doesn't mean we should just shrug and accept fast fashion as our only option. So the question I need to ask and maybe you should ask too is how do we live our values in a world that's actively destroying them? So here are some practical tips on exploring how we can actually practice sustainable fashion and still do it without feeling overwhelmed or guilty in the process, especially if we're living that nine to five life. Remember, you don't have to be a full-time activist to make a difference. So if one, hit up your local thrift store. It's honestly retail therapy without the environmental guilt, but only if you buy what you need. So hit up your friends, grab a matcha, and find some unique pieces that are honestly way better than mass-produced fast fashion. Two is to host a clothing swap party. This is such a great way to freshen up your wardrobe, get new things without spending a dime. So invite your friends, have some wine, gossip, and exchange pieces. It's really cute, it's really cool to do. I love them. If you want tips on how to host one, I'll have them in my description. And three, join a local fashion community. I personally made one called Sustainable Threads Juliet. We have clothing swaps, community events, and it's such a fun, cool time. I've met the most amazing people who really love so, slow fashion, sustainable fashion, um, but also try to look for local sewing groups if you want to improve your sewing. Again, it's finding what works for you. 
It can be super low commitment and it can definitely fuel your creativity. And if you want more practical tips on how to take care of your clothes for an everyday practice, I would really get into folding clothing. It sounds so basic, but I think it really leads to less strain on your clothing. So group light colors together too. You can also hand wash your delicate items if you have time or you can just have them soak overnight. Um, it doesn't really have to take too much effort. But again, you can always try to store your clothing properly and sort them into categories so you can better keep track of what you have and prevent them from getting damaged. You can also be more mindful when you go out. You can be very mindful, very demure. So if let's say you're going apple picking, just grab something that you don't mind will get messed up or is kind of already messed up so that you can keep wearing out the things that are already worn, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, hopefully these tips are just to start to have you wonder how do we cut through the noise and get to the melody of what matters and to practice sustainable fashion in a world that pushes us to consume more and more. I think at the end of the day, it's about small, thoughtful changes that add up. We don't have to do it alone. We can build communities, share clothes, and rethink how we care for what we already have. And most importantly, I think we really can live out our values in this world, even if it doesn't always align. But again, we need systemic change more than ever, so please pay attention to politics and push for legislation that moves the needle forward within the fashion industry. So thanks so much for you watching. If this video resonated, please give it a like and subscribe. I do ethical fashion slash lifestyle videos and feel free to join this community that's working towards building a better fashion future. Until next time, peace and love.